everybody, Jim here in Akihabara once again uh, to go to another cool pop-up shop right across the street over there at the Akihabara container where they always have the most awesome pop-up shops and this time around they're doing a cowboy bebop shop so I'm really excited about that. I am a big cowboy bebop fan and have been for a long time. So I've actually been uh, anticipating this shop for quite a while. Uh, the drawback is it's it's literally only open for like the next week and then uh, they're shutting it down and turning it into something else. So that's, that's the drawback to some of these pop-up shops is they are not open for very long. So if you are in Tokyo right now, you can go and check out this shop but I think next week it's going to be converted into something different. Some of them uh, I've seen last for uh, months. The Neo Geo Land shop, for example, was there for a very long time. Uh, then I've seen some that are only, you know, four days. Um, so you really kind of have to be lucky. Or uh, what I like to do is uh, check the calendar on their website and uh, see what kind of shops they have coming up. So. Uh, but here we are, coming up on the container, and from the outside, as you can plainly see, uh, we have got uh, Mr. Spike Spiegel and video screen that's been playing the intro on and off. But um, yeah, Akihabara container, Cowboy Bebop, kind of a match made in heaven. Looks pretty awesome inside. So let's get in there and check it out. Tengoku Getting started inside this lovely Cowboy Bebop pop-up shop. Very cool. Glad they uh, decided to do this. As we look at some of the some of the gear here, some of the stuff they got on sale. Uh, they got file folder things, which are pretty cool, and all this display up here. It's it's stickers and coasters and like acrylic things, mugs. Uh, they got it all laid out here, out on display for you. Really cool folding fan. And uh, other things here. Cologne. If you want some Cowboy Bebop cologne. I smelled it. It actually doesn't smell so bad. Even a Cowboy Bebop sake set. You can, so you get a nice sake kind of wine bottle thing. And uh, we got these uh, acrylic figures. They look pretty cool. And they have these cool little like uh, backdrops with them. With their names. And like a, a, a bit of scenery or something like that. So that's very cool. 
And of course, there's uh, as usual, there's art from all over, or art all over uh, from the show. Uh, we see these acrylic figures uh, here once again. If this uh, my camera will ever go into focus, that's the uh, there we go. The problem of doing this one-handed. There are some very cool little figures, though. Again, these are things I could easily see on like a desk or something somewhere. And uh, these uh, these terribly. Uh, out of focus uh, stickers. Uh, there they go. Isn't that nice? Um, you you know you stick them all over your luggage, so it's you know supposed to be stickers that you put on your luggage. Show some of your Cowboy Bebop love, and these uh, coasters with the characters on them, shaped like records. Of course, some stuff is completely sold out, uh, which is to be expected. Cowboy Bebop, very popular property. And they have some phone cases. Which are very cool. Got some nice Cowboy Bebop designs on them. All the characters. That one there, the blue and black, actually has the names of all the episodes on it. And again, these uh, little file folder things with the various characters on them. A little more artwork from the show. Very classic. Again, the folding fan there, which is very cool. Has an awesome design on it. So like a little uh, wooden thing. I think you, you tie it, you're meant to tie it to something... Um, well, whatever. And, uh, these are, I believe, hand towels. So they're the, uh, Akihabara Hotel container hand towels and mugs. Because what, you know, souvenir type shop is complete without mugs. So it's got a, uh, nice design there. No shortage of those, by the way. And more cool art with... Ed and uh, one of the uh, smaller ships they have and uh, some more stuff here like I think like little coin purses and um, sort of like phone other like phone case things uh, like hard plastic ones this one left of this mug that has uh, Ayn on it uh, Ayn and a bunch of other little um, corgis which uh, I just love corgis they're a great dog aren't they and uh, more file folders with sort of like little cartoony things on it. Kind of looks like Ed drew it, uh, I think. And uh, here again, some more of that um, uh, cologne, uh, sake set, and these sake cups. These are like little wooden cups that you're uh, meant to drink uh, sake out of. Which is pretty cool. So they, I guess it's burned on the, uh, you know, Cowboy Bebop, the logo, and the little spaceship. Uh, and then these were really cool, these standees. They always have these. I always love coming in and seeing these. But you got Ed and Spike and uh, Faye and Jet. And then this uh, door, it's like, uh, you know, welcome to the hotel, whatever. Because the whole theme of this, in case you, d you couldn't tell, is travel. So Faye has her luggage with her, and it's got those stickers uh, all over it. Uh, so that's very cool. She's got her shades. Uh, and Jet has his Akihabara tourist guide. And there's a bunch of artwork back there. Just, you know, so sort of nice backdrop for the place. He's got his tourist guide because in this uh, building, actually, is also the tourist guide center. So, uh, And then they had shirts and, uh, you know, hoodies all made by a company called Lafayette. Um, but the selection is kind of sparse right now because uh, people came through and, uh, you know, Cowboy Bebop fans from all across Tokyo came and uh, bought up a whole bunch of stuff. And they're running the Cowboy Bebop intro non-stop in this place. So if you like that song, Tank, you're gonna... <laughs> you'll, you'll be very, very happy inside this shop. I'm gonna look at some of the t-shirts and hoodies that they had for sale. And uh, that's pretty much everything they got in the shop here. Kind of a cool little Cowboy Bebop souvenir shop. Check it out if you can. And let's uh, head back outside. Okay, so that's it. The uh, Cowboy Bebop pop-up shop at the container. Uh, again, like I said, only going to be open for like the next week or so, which is unfortunate. Um, what I would recommend to people who are going to be coming to... Tokyo for a visit and you want to know what kind of shops they're gonna have at uh, container uh, you can go to their website which I'm gonna put a link 
to their website down in the description and they always have a calendar on there with all of the different uh, pop-up shops they have planned listed so you can go and check that out and uh, see what they'll have available uh, when you'll be in town and uh, also it might be worth looking there uh, to see if there are any like alternative ways to buy some of that stuff uh, I know it's more or less exclusive to a uh, container, but they might have some sort of e-shop available. So if you don't want to wait for that stuff to show up on like a Yahoo Auctions or like eBay or something like that, um, you can, I don't know, go and check out the container website. So again, that's in the description, but um, they have some pretty cool stuff at the uh, Cowboy Bebop pop-up shop right now. Um, if you are uh, in town right now <laughs> and you want to go check it out, I would recommend you do, especially if you're a big fan of Cowboy Bebop, as uh, I am and I know a lot of people are. And um, I think that's pretty much going to do it for today. Uh, I saw what I wanted in the shop and uh, that'll wrap it up. I think I'm going to continue to hang out in Akiva, though. I might, not, I might even uh, film another video or two today and some maybe some game shops figure shops whatever i haven't really figured it out kind of uh having a random day today uh but anyway thank you everybody for watching uh, i appreciate it appreciate everybody uh commenting liking subscribing etc etc all the uh you know the youtube stuff and until next time i will see you then take care everybody goodbye Jim here uh, in Akihabara Station right now actually and fun fact uh, sometimes you can find pretty cool little pop-up shops uh, right here in the station don't even have to leave the station and uh, right now there's a DC Comics pop-up shop going on so let's have a look around and see what kind of DC merch they're peddling すいません。いつまでやすんの今 コスプレなんかじゃありません。All right, DC pop-up shop in the station itself. Uh, very cool as we start looking at some of this really cool DC branded stuff because um, really uncommon to uh, see a lot of um, DC stuff uh, in uh, uh, Tokyo as we look at socks and other things. Lots of retro, more like late 80s, early 90s designs on a lot of this stuff, the Batman and Superman stuff, all these. 
Um, yeah, very common to see Marvel stuff, just because the Marvel movies are so big everywhere. But not as common to see uh, fun DC stuff, so I was happy to see this. Uh, including Batman-branded golf ball socks. Um, kind of an in indispensable accessory for the avid golfer. Uh, so yeah, was happy to see some DC stuff. I have been a comic book fan for most of my life. Uh, mostly Marvel comics, but I also do uh, like uh, some DC stuff. Primarily Batman, but uh, I am not adverse to any uh, DC comics. Um, as we take a look at some of these sweaters and t-shirts, it had some very cool designs on them. As you can see, some of them like this, they have like covers from you know various comic books. And then uh, some other things, cool designs, but again, classic, more like 80s style Batman logo. Little like tech deck, <laughs> skateboards, laser pointers, keychains. Is there anything you cannot put the Batman logo on? I don't think so, because it becomes a bat whatever it is. Pass me the bat laser pointer. Pass me that uh, bat, uh, I don't know, soda dispenser, whatever. You could put the Batman logo on anything. Um, but yeah. So cool stuff here, cool t-shirt designs. We got some Wonder Woman, some Batman. Always gets his man. There he is. Good old Batman. And a uh, plain white tee with the classic Batman logo on it. Even I have one of those. Um, so yeah, looking at all this stuff. And uh, also Justice League here. Not flying off the shelves. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the Justice League movie. In fact, I didn't really care for it at all. Um, but hasn't really tarnished my love of Batman, really. Uh, and then figures. All these figures, I'm sure, were, like, very, very common in, like, Walmarts and uh, Game Stops and all that all across North America. I've never seen any of these figures, though. Because, uh, again, not much saturation of DC stuff in Japan. Uh, so some of these are pretty cool. Uh, some of them just seem kind of like generic action figure -y to me, but others are uh, pretty cool. I do like this one here, this kind of like manga-style Bruce Wayne Batman thing. Very cool. And some uh, statues and larger figures as well. Even a nice uh, Tim Burton-esque Batmobile. Very cool. Uh, so I, you know, like looking at all this stuff. And all your office supply needs from DC Comics. File protectors, pens, pen holders, notepads, pencil cases, etc., etc. Lots of stickers. The one and only like Shazam bit of merch they had, which I was like, I was like, where's all the Shazam stuff? I really, I actually like that movie. I liked it way more than a lot of the other recent uh, DC stuff, but uh, Shazam didn't get much love here. Uh, as we look at towels. You'll get towels, lots and lots of DC branded towels, cups, mugs, blah, blah, blah. Mug Costanza. Um, so all that stuff. All that stuff. I want that. I want that and that. I want a Batman. Uh, yeah. And last but not least, Funko Pops, which I'm sure probably lots of people are sick of seeing these Funko Pops. I know they're very, very big in uh, North America don't really give a shit about them in Japan. We've already got plenty of cutesy little figures and stuff, so I never see Funko Pops, so there they are. Um, that's really it for this little uh, pop-up shop. DC Comics, pretty cool. Check it out if you're in the station. That's it. Okay, so that's it. The uh, DC Comics pop-up shop. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Very unusual. I don't. This is stuff I don't typically see uh, in or around Tokyo. So uh, pretty cool to see some some of this stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, in this exact spot right here, which is directly next to the Electric Town exit, um, they have pop-up shops pretty much all the time. They've had lots of different stuff. I've seen like Godzilla pop-up shops and various kinds of anime, things like that. Uh, so if you just come right here next to the exit, uh, there should be something pretty cool for you. Uh, anyway, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and uh, hope you have fun on your trip to Akiba, whenever that may be. All right, so thanks for watching everybody. Take care and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.
Hey everybody, Jim here in Akihabara tonight. As you can see, uh, I'm at the container. We have a Mai Shiranui uh, from Fatal Fury pop-up shop right now. I am here with uh, young Miss Destiny Fomo and uh, young Miss Dennis. Yes. And we are gonna uh, get inside this uh, pop-up shop, check it out. Uh, something tells me there's gonna be Mai Shiranui stuff in it. Uh, so that's gonna be pretty cool. Anyway, let's get inside and see what they got. Let's go. All right, getting started inside this mostly my Shiranui pop-up shop. You can see the cool Nipponichi hoodie there and uh, some artwork here, some examples of some uh, things you'll see in the shop. This cool t-shirt, which comes in its own AES style case and this figure, which is very nice, detailed, cool action pose. Um, we're gonna take a look over here. It's not just my stuff. We can see some acrylic figures here, little standees, and uh, it's mostly King of Fighters stuff, but there's also a little Samurai Spirits and Last Blade, as you can see there, which is very cool. I very rarely see Last Blade stuff, and there's SNK Heroin stuff, the soundtrack, art book. They also had patches, sticker sets, keychains. Um, some of the stuff, I think, might be recycled from the Neo Geo Land shop. These cool plushies of Kyo, Iori, and uh, the uh, Mars people. We've got some hats and shoes, the kind of thing uh, you would actually see at Indoor, also in Akihabara. Because uh, Indoor and... Uh, the uh, container share uh, a lot of stuff and we see here uh, this cool um, kind of like roller like set with a uh, Iori on it some some of the geese Howard uh, soy sauce uh, so if you want like cool SNK branded soy sauce and chopsticks things like that also the uh, S uh, the uh, Neo Geo minis 
which are uh, pretty cool. I don't own one myself, but I've played one, and they're quite cool. But they have Neo Geo minis and plenty of ex uh, accessories for them as well. So that was pretty cool. So it's uh, decked out in my stuff, but uh, there's other Neo Geo things there, like these uh, bath products, cushions, uh, again, more stickers, phone cases, mugs, huge mugs, mug Costanza, um, and more stuff. There's bags and other things. I like these, these um, sketches of my, they have, uh, they get quite detailed, uh, but these are pretty cool. I guess sort of like early uh, character sketches of my detailing how she should look and move and things like that. And uh, we have some cool uh, artwork here. These my uh, standees. Uh, these are pretty cool. Perfect for the my Shiranui fan. And lots of them, lots of poses, lots of different versions of my from various games. So different versions of King of Fighters, Fatal Fury, Capcom vs. SNK, a celebration of all things Mai. And you can get all this artwork that's framed uh, and here in these boxes. Uh, there's artwork in them and this is what they are. So we got a uh, kind of a more buxom cartoonish Mai, more realistic, a little more artistic uh, license taken. And then just other things here. There's uh, ink pens, uh, buttons, Keychains, uh, stickers, my, my, my. Um, so just uh, lots and lots of my stuff, uh, including my hand towels with her, it looks like her Fatal Fury 2 artwork and moveset. More sketches of my, including a very detailed sketch of her ass and a, a male character there. I'm not exactly sure who that is, maybe if that was like an alternate male version of Mai or something, I don't know. More, uh, more, uh, hand towels, things like that, and, uh, bigger towels, like beach towel type things, and t-shirts, lots of t-shirts, all these AES box looking things have t-shirts, uh, inside of them, which is pretty cool, and, uh, there's, uh, specifically my t-shirts, and then there's just lots of Neo Geo t-shirts, and, uh, they're pretty cool. And we have more shirts over here. These are specific to the shop. So uh, this one, very cool. Actually ended up picking up a My Shiranui kind of heavy metal design. Fatal Fury special shirt, which is cool. Uh, this one I thought was very nice. A uh, nice colorful shirt uh, featuring Andy and Mai on a walk together. And Terry is spying on them for some reason. And uh, this one as well. This is uh, branded as being a Neo Geo 30th anniversary shirt. So they have a, a very, again, very cartoonish, busty uh, version of my on there. Um, but yeah, so some pretty cool t-shirts and other Neo Geo things, jackets and whatnot. And some more of the Neo Geo Gachapon. And that big old standee. But that's about it for the My Shiranui Neo Geo shop. So let's wrap things up and get outside. Okay. So that's it for the My Shiranui SNK Neo Geo Fatal Fury blah 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 pop up shop in Akiba right now. Uh, Destiny got herself a nice slick jacket. Yes, I'm so happy with it. I'm so excited. This is it's very, long, it's gonna be super long, this is very cool. Dennis and I got some pretty sweet t-shirts. Yeah. Yes, pretty Dennis, sweet. we did indeed get t-shirts. I actually didn't buy my t-shirt. You didn't? Nah. Well, you're lame. Anyway, I got a nice t-shirt. Uh, anyway, that's the uh, shop right now. It's going to be open until January 6th. So if you're going to be in Akihabara during that time, definitely stop by the container, especially if you love Fatal Fury, but especially if you love my Shiranui, the ninja goddess of Neo Geo. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, Dennis, Destiny, myself, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. Dennis. Later. <laughs>
Hey everybody, Jim here, and I am in Akiba right now. I'm actually in the um, the passage. I think it's called the, the East West Passage, um, but it goes from the one end of the station to the other. And uh, they just renovated it, and now it looks totally awesome. But uh, right now, there's a shop here called Satellites. And as you can see, uh, it's, I don't know if it's um, always Star Wars or if it's more of a pop-up shop, but it's just Star Wars stuff right now. And I like me some Star Wars, so let's have a look around inside this cool shop. Satellites in Akihabara. Star Wars. Hello, JJ. Alright, getting started with a little Star Wars action. Uh, full disclosure, I'm actually not the biggest fan of the more recent Star Wars movies, but I am a huge fan, as I think most people uh, are, of uh, the original trilogy. And uh, most of the stuff in here was like original trilogy stuff. Uh, so I was, well, most of Star Wars is stuff that was established in the original trilogy, but whatever. Uh, I just like uh, the merch, you know. I like uh, stuff like this. These big at at walkers. And stormtroopers, Boba Fett stuff. Artwork. Droids, etc, etc. Hey, rugs. It's gonna look more like bath mats. So if you want to step on Darth Vader's face every time you get out of the shower, there you go. Uh, slippers. A, a bag thing? What is that, like a laundry bag? T-shirts? Basically anything that could ever have a logo on it, does have a logo on it. That was kind of the joke in Spaceballs, right? Merchandising. We put the picture's name on everything. Uh, but there's some cool stuff in here, artwork and books and stuff. Um, T-shirts like this. Like I said, I, I really, I grew up loving the original trilogy. And I still have love for Star Wars in my heart, even though like some of the, well, uh, some of the recent movies, they just kind of suck. But whatever. I mean, the, the prequels kind of sucked too, but I watched them and they didn't make me like Star Wars any less. Star Wars underwears. Not uh, not ashamed at all to admit that I had me some Star Wars underwears and uh, these bags and stuff. I like this kind of like retro um, character designs on them. That's very cool. Uh, that is something that when I was a teenager I would uh, collect was Star Wars stuff. Figures... And uh, other various things. I actually had a big Yoda standee that uh, I took from work when I was like 16. It was a, a, a Attack of the Clones standee that was uh, there for the DVD release. They were going to throw it away. I said, to hell with that. Give me that thing. I'm putting that in my bedroom as I, I talk over all this stuff. There's towels. 
you'll get towels. There's towels, phone chargers, keychains, backpacks. Good lord. What can you not put uh, Star Wars on? That Boba Fett backpack actually looked kind of cool, though. And you can even get your very own Star Wars chopsticks and silverware and everything. I'm one of those people that, that really likes Boba Fett, despite the fact that there's, there's barely a character there. I can admit that. I just like... I'm like, he has a cool suit and a jetpack and a, a slick helmet. And uh, by gum, I like that. Um, mugs, bowls... Yada yada yada. You need some uh, some uh, soup spoons or rice bowls or any of that good stuff. Satellite has got you covered. Uh, I can. We've turned Darth Vader, the menace of the galaxy. We've turned him into a face at the bottom of my rice bowl. Take him down a peg. Uh, other cool stuff. Uh, stickers, keychains, phone cases. Uh, pretty much. Uh, Everything. These, these, like, file protectors or whatever the hell they are. Uh, lots of stationary stuff. You want your notebooks. You want a delightful glittery pink pencil case. Which I definitely do. I, I was so tempted to buy the glittery pink Star Wars pencil case. Or pencil bag. You can't really call it a case. It's just a sack that you put your pencils in. When I was a kid, we were broke, so my mom made my pencil case. She sewed it together and got a drawstring and threw it in there. Uh, hoodies, t-shirts, uh, all kinds of stuff you'd expect to see in a Star Wars shop. Uh, and that's really about it. I just thought it was kind of cool. I don't usually see Star Wars stuff like this, so I wanted to hang out and peruse a bit. So everybody, uh, thanks for hanging out with me in this shop. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. So let's let's do that. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, so that's satellites. Uh, I did ask the staff, and they said that this is like a seasonal thing. So it's Star Wars for now, probably for a while. They're advertising, you know, Rise of Skywalker in December. So it, it'll probably be here for a while. I didn't ask that. But anyway, Satellite, this is another pop-up shop. How do you like them apples? They're everywhere. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Pretty cool Star Wars stuff. And uh, there's a bunch of other stuff in here, too. They really did a good job on this thing. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And take care. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Jim here in uh, sunny Akihabara right now, and I'm here joined by Dennis. Dennis, say hi. Hey, yo. And we are at the container right now because they are having the up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, Akiba Limited Shop Volume 2. So it is a retro Konami themed pop-up shop. So as you can see, they've got stuff for Snatcher, they've got stuff for Castlevania, Gradius, Contra, Tokimeki Memorial, all kinds of cool stuff. And there's even some PC Engine stuff in there apparently because the PC Engine Mini is about to come out. Uh, so that's really cool too. So we're going to get inside and see what all kinds of cool stuff they got. Let's go. Konami.
All right. Getting started in this especially cool Konami pop-up shop. A pleasant surprise. As we get started with some Gachapon. Uh, based on Goemon, which is very cool. Mystical Ninja. And Tokimeki Memorial, which they had quite a bit of. Uh, Tokimeki Memorial stuff. Uh, yeah, pleasantly surprised here uh, by this pop-up shop. Uh, didn't even know they were going to be having it until the day before it opened. As we look, uh, they have some uh, TV monitors here. They're actually streaming everything that's being played on the PC Engine Mini, which we'll see in a bit. That's right, PC Engine Mini. But here we have some more Tokimeki Memorial stuff, acrylic figures. I did not realize how popular Tokimeki Memorial had been in Japan. As we see, they have these little portrait things, and it's uh, random which one you get in these packages. I didn't realize Tokimeki Memorial was uh, such a popular game in Japan at one point. It was uh, kind of like the dating sim at one point, but it was, you know, quite wholesome stuff. Uh, so that's a really popular Konami property that nobody ever cared about uh, where I came from. We got stickers here. Um, Gradius Twinby, Akumajo Dracula. Um, these are all uh, very cool, um, but they're expensive for stickers. They're 400 yen. 400 yen for a sticker, even though they are pretty cool. Contra. Get a Contra sticker and Salamander, which is a game I absolutely love as we come around here. We got some uh, looky loose like me. They're perusing, checking out all the cool stuff. Uh, so we have some more uh, keychains here. These are uh, pretty cool. So we have a Gradius keychain, and it has the Vic Viper hanging from it, which is uh, nice. And we have a Tokimeki Memorial keychain. We have a, a Akumajo special keychain, if I could ever get it into focus. And it's got a little kid Dracula uh, hanging from it, and that's very cool. And we have a Twinby keychain with the Twinby ship. And these were all 1,000 yen, which is, um, I don't know, like $9 and something. And we got some pins. There's Star Soldier, Bomberman, uh, Gradius wristbands. Uh, it was an exceptionally bright day today, so some things didn't focus so good. We got some Goemon pins here, and a Gradius, uh, Gradius pins, that's very cool. And a ER Kung Fu mug, for all you ER Kung Fu fans. And this is just some of the stuff on display, uh, the keychains out of the wrapper, so you can see the cool things that dangle from them. The pins, again, Bomberman, the Vic Viper, etc and some of the Tokimeki Memorial uh, stuff. And then you can see there, Getsu Fumaden and Twinbee hoodies, uh, which is pretty cool. Coming over here, we got t-shirts. They had plenty of cool t-shirts on hand. In fact, I picked up one for myself. Uh, so lots of different designs. Uh, this is very cool. T-shirt for Necromancer, a game on the PC Engine. And, uh, what does this say? Uh, da tan dan, dan da da dan dan. Whatever I can't read. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, Gradius T-shirt, very cool with the the Konami code on it. We re recently lost uh, again. There it is, the legendary creator of the Konami code. Uh, we have some uh, Tokimeki Memorial T-shirts. Uh, again, not something I'm terribly interested in. But there you go. But police knots. That's very cool. Uh, I do like Police Knots quite a bit. I featured it on the channel before. Uh, Gradius hoodie, very cool. And uh, this uh, Tokimeki Memorial hoodie. And we're actually going to take a look at all of these out of the packaging uh, in a minute because they're very cool. They have some cool designs on the backs as well. And uh, speaking of cool, this Snatcher t shirt I ended up picking up Neo Kobe City 2042. Um, yeah, so I ended up picking up this uh, cool Snatcher t-shirt. It's got the Snatcher uh, logo on the back there with the claw tear in it. And then a Castlevania t-shirt. Uh, not Akumajo Dracula, but in fact, uh, Castlevania. No, no cool designs on the back of that, though. We got the Police Knots t-shirt again. Uh, very cool design. 
and uh, the uh, Tokimeki Memorial, the uh, uh, Kiromeki High School, and uh, the Gradius hoodie with a very cool um, image on the back. This uh, Gradius art is actually on the cover of the Gradius PC Engine game, as a matter of fact. So that's very cool. Uh, we have hand towels here, of all things. Uh, so we have a Contra hand towel and a Castlevania hand towel. It's very cool. They look like stages from the games, so that's great. And uh, Gradius with the Konami code and the uh, power-up selection at the bottom. And then just a whole bunch of um, screen cap type stuff from various Konami games. Uh, this, there's always something cool there, art and things like that. Uh, lots of PC Engine stuff, so here we go. Uh, we got all of these cool uh, keychains shaped like hue cards as well as uh, this phone case uh, that has a PC Engine design on it. As we all know, Konami now owns all the Hudson stuff and they're putting out the PC Engine Mini. So here are all the uh, keychains uh, as uh, they are displayed. There's a uh, PC Engine stuff up here because bum, 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 they had a PC Engine Mini up and running in the shop that you could uh, play to your heart's content and believe me I did but that's for another video and uh, these are all the Goemon and Tokimeki Memorial little acrylic figures out of their gachapon imprisonments as we see more cool uh, game stuff Snatcher, Goemon um, all kinds of stuff, Gradius, Twinbee um, so again uh, for a Konami fan this was super cool this is the back of the Getsu Fumadin hoodie. Uh, very cool. If you don't know what Getsu Fumadin is, it's a really great 8-bit uh, Konami game that was only released in Japan, and I love it a lot. And uh, there's some more uh, Tokimeki Memorial stuff here, uh, including this, which is, I'm guessing, it's some sort of Tokimeki Memorial uh, spice or something. I didn't really know what the hell it was. Usually there's some kind of like weird little thing like this in the shop. Like the Geese Howard's soy sauce for the Neo Geo stores and stuff. And, you know, uh, coasters, mugs, uh, file protectors, and uh, wall scrolls. Pretty typical stuff. And this is the back of the Twinbee hoodie, which is also very cool. So all of the hoodies they had, uh, Gradius, Twinbee, Getsu Fumadin, uh, really great designs on all of them. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's going to do it for the inside of the Konami pop-up shop in Akiba. Very cool stuff. So let's uh, wrap this up. All right, so there you go. That is the up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, Akiba shop, uh, volume two. Uh, very cool, really like awesome stuff in there. Uh, picking up some t-shirts for some people, picking up some of those PC and keychains, and a little Goemon, Gatchapon, uh, and I'm gonna pick up a few things for myself because I'm a huge Konami fan. Probably gonna pick up one of those Snatcher t-shirts. Uh, anyway, this shop is open until the 23rd of March. So if by some chance you're going to be in Tokyo or in Akihabara during that time, stop by, especially if you're a Konami fan, because there's some really awesome stuff in here. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Goodbye. Everybody, Jim here in Akiba today, and we're going to be going to the Akihabara container to check out the Megazone 2 3 pop up shop. Let's go! Good. Well, hey, uh, Jim, why don't you take this time to tell us where are we going? Uh, well, we're walking from the East West Passage uh, by Akiba Station. And we are going to go to the Akihabara container where they have different pop-up shops week by week. And this week it's a retro anime called Megazone 2-3. So they're going to be selling uh, t-shirts and all kinds of other cool stuff. And I'm going there to shoot the store and also to pick up some gear for a few friends of mine through YouTube. So it's going to be pretty sweet. For anybody wanting to know the quickest way to get to Akihabara container, come out of the central gates of the Akihabara station right behind me and the shop is actually directly across the street.
So remember everybody, no smoking on the street and God help you if you park your bike or mobility assistance scooter. Death penalty. No trial. All right, so here we are in front of the Akihabara container. As you can see, all decked out with Megazone 2-3. For those who don't know, classic 80s cyberpunk slash mech anime. It's getting a reboot this year. So they decided to grace us with this awesome pop-up shop. So let's get inside and see what kind of goodies they got. Getting started in the Akihabara container once again. Look at all this cool Megazone 2-3 stuff. They got the uh, original OVA playing on two monitors in here. So you can chill and watch that. As we see a few of the different t-shirt designs on display. And they did indeed have some very cool t-shirts. As we are about to see. And uh, the staff there. Diligently at work. And then here of course... Uh, as usual, plenty of uh, artwork, screen caps from the anime on display as we come here to like uh, some cool kind of like little knick-knack stuff, uh, pencil cases, as I believe what that is, and then this cool uh, acrylic standee of the Garland, which is the motorcycle that turns into a mech, so it's automatically cool. And then these things are cool. They're uh, random. They're little retro TV screens with little uh, still shots from the OVA in them. So you can buy them in the little silver packets and you get a random shot from the anime. And then here are, again, a couple of the shirt designs with the, uh, the garland on it. And um, it's just some other... I don't know what those words are. They might have been some lyrics from one of the songs because there's really... Uh, there's a lot of great music in Megazone 2-3 uh, as we look at more shirt designs. These are pretty cool, and they're actually, I think the container, uh, the logo is on there. It's actually made by uh, whomever runs the container. Like, they're made specifically just for this shop. As we look at some more shirts that are, apparently they're being sold pretty well because uh, they were in limited supply. Again, we can uh, watch some Megazone 2-3. And the Megazone, the, the music from the OVA is playing in the store at all times. As we take a look at this cool hat with uh, some of the uh, stuff from the anime on the bill. And then there's phone cases. 
some uh, very nice phone cases. One, you know, an open up one and the one that's just kind of like a nice hard shell case. We got postcards, which is very cool. And I think that's like a file folder thing. I'm going to get a bunch of hats. They still had a bunch of hats left. So that's nice. So some very cool stuff. You know, uh, t-shirts, hats, little acrylic things, and uh, other stuff. And now, some figures that are on display. Uh, again, with more artwork from the OVA. And, uh, but yeah, they have some figures on display, and they have some for sale, but uh, they're kind of pricey. But you can see that, uh, again, the uh, the garland, it's it's over $300, actually. It's a very expensive figure, um, but very detailed, very cool looking, uh, different, different model of the, uh, of Garland there. And then this one, this is uh, a figure from Megazone 2311, uh, which is the reboot that's coming out uh, quite soon, actually, this year, later this year, I believe. And again, a different model of uh, Garland. So, there you go. Some very cool figures, t-shirts, phone cases, hats, and then just uh, some artwork and anime for your viewing pleasure. Uh, anyway, that's it for the Megazone 2-3 shop. So, let's have one last pan around, and then I'll take it outside. So that's it, the Megazone 2-3 pop-up shop here at the Akihabara Container. It's pretty damn cool and it's going to be open until May 22nd. So if you're in Tokyo now or before the 22nd, definitely come and check it out. And even if you come after that, still come to the Akihabara Container. They have different pop-up shops all the time. They're always really cool, so you definitely want to come and check it out, especially if you're an anime fan, because they're usually anime themed. Anyway, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little look around in the Akihabara container, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.